Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have customers at a gift shop and they're getting stickers for every t-shirt they buy. So the graph shows a relationship between X, the number of t-shirts that customers buy. So that's our X, that's our horizontal axis right there. And then the number of t-shirts that they buy is related to Y, the number of stickers they receive. And the number of stickers, there we go, that is your vertical axis, your Y axis. So we need a table that represents this relationship, but you know what this really looks like? This just looks like coordinate plane. So let's just make each of these X and Y. And that's going to make this a lot easier because really what we're doing is we're looking to see if we can graph some of these. So I'm just going to make my own little table. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's just, let's just do that. Let's just make our own little set of order pairs and see if we can find... So this first number of t-shirts bought, it looks like we've got one t-shirt. So that's going to be one on the X. And you get two stickers. Second one looks like two t-shirts. So it looks like we're just going to go up one. Looks like we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, three, four. That's pretty easy. Five. And then look at my stickers. I've got one goes to two. I've got two goes to four. My three goes to six. My four goes to eight. And then my five goes to ten. So what is the relationship that we have here? We need to find this relationship because it's not going to be as easy as just matching this to one of the tables. If you notice, they're extending it. They're extending so we need to figure out, first off, is this additive or multiplicative? Are we adding or are we multiplying? So we look across. We look from the X to the Y. What are you doing to X to get to Y? What are you doing from X to get to Y all the way down? So let's start with X. How do we get from 1 to 2? Well, we can either add 1, that's if it's additive, or we can multiply by 2 if it's multiplicative. So let's see, how do we get from 2 to 4? Well, we can either add 2, that'd be a different pattern, or we can multiply by 2. How do we get from 3 to 6? Well, we can either add 3, or we can multiply by 2. And you notice that our adding changes, so it's not an additive relationship. It's a multiplicative relationship. We're simply going to multiply by 2. You take your x, which is the number of t-shirts bought, you double it, multiply by 2, and you're going to get your Y, the number of free stickers. So let's see which of these gets you a, a multiply by 2 relationship. And if we can find that multiplicative relationship, we will be good to go. So let's look at F. I'm going to look at F. It's, it's really multiply by 1, I guess, if you want any. It's the same thing, but if you wanted any type of relationship you, on F, you would say it's multiply by 1. So that is definitely not what we're looking for. So G, double 6, you get to 12, that's good. Double 7, you get to 14, that's good. Double 8, you get to 16, and double 9, you get to 18. Okay, I'm thinking G is probably it. But before we get excited, we have two more tables that we need to eliminate. Ah, uh, take a look at what we're doing here. This is neither a an additive or multiplicative, it's a divisive or a divisive relationship, I guess. We're dividing by two. We're cutting in half. Take a look at this. We're going from 14 down to 7, 18 down to 9. You're dividing by two. So it's the correct number, and it's the inverse operation, not what we need. And then J is at least a multiplicative re re relationship. But take a look. You're multiplying by three. Six times three gets 18. 10 times three gets you 30. 14 times three, 42. 18 times 3, 54. So they at least multiplied. It's the wrong number, though. So it is going to be G. You're going to multiply by 2, and that gets you your answer.